Okay, welcome to episode 78 of my 248k run on a ribbon world, standing around in kind of the place that I still haven't concreted, but never mind, it's fine. Got a bunch of things to do today. I, yeah, I think the first thing I need to do, for reasons that we'll get to, I need like some buffer chests. Um, because we've got to go and we're extending some rail grid and I kind of need to move that around in a better way. Um, yeah, let's look at things that happened in between for a bit. So, so we've now got more of these K1 energy providers which are working through our backlog of this stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we've got some more of the tier one, the, the efficiency and the speed modules that we're using kind of a bit. And then I wanted to grab some of these guys um, because I don't think it's worth putting these in labs because we'll get like, yeah, if we, if we grab these out and we put these in, we're getting like not even 24% productivity, 23% productivity versus 20% productivity but we're losing a lot of lab speed and lab speed is a thing that I kind of care about because we're kind of balanced with respect to that. Like we've kicked through a lot of the science. Um, and then we're building up a bit of purple science, which we boosted last time and a bit of yellow science, but we still just need more space science. So we're going to have to go and do that. I reckon it probably is worth, except they don't. Okay. I was going to say it is worth getting, going from 40% productivity to 48% productivity, especially as I could get more beacons over here, except that the modules don't, so never mind about that. Um, okay, so RCUs are fine, LDS is fine, rocket fuel is fine. If we look at the production of these things over like the last hour, where are all my rocket bits? Rocket fuel, RCUs, LDS, I am... Um, Okay, so maybe maybe more than the last hour, because we poked a few things in between, yeah. So we've got, I could be doing this on the way out to, yeah. We'll do this on the way out to the buffer chest that I need to drop. Um, but the thing I wanted to do first, for other reasons we'll talk about, is not just get these two buffer chests, but also get... Where is, I want like, I think I figured out that I wanted about 30 of each of these, just not being processed into science. So we'll let that buffer. Um, we'll actually get these two buffer chests and then we'll drive over to the place where we need to do a thing um, because we are extending yeah we're extending this rail grid out um, let's actually see where we can get to can we get why not there we go yeah so we can get all the way out here um, is that why yeah sure um, because the issue with this is um, that the mall for this grid is all the way back here where this train is, which is fine. All the stuff is over here. The bots have got the stuff. And the bots are all building the things, except that the rail grid we're building is really quite a long way away, even for bots that are super fast. So we're going to drop some buffer chests here. We're going to have logistics bots move a bunch of rail over much more effectively. And like we've kind of got the Spidertron down here doing this kind of Spidertron helping out with the build stuff. Um, by getting all the rest of these bots online will be good, because we actually wanted, yeah, we wanted more, is this going to be in the way? I don't think it's going to be in the way, I think it's going to be fine, in fact, that might end up being useful. Um, but yeah, we're going to go over there, drop those buffer chests down. Um, yeah, so, over, yeah, here's, here's the RCU production before we added the new RCUs thing, and then we kind of cut one of them because we are mucking around with it, and then this is where the new RCU build turned up and was fine and then I beaconed it a little I think I I think for this one I took beacons away because it was more than I thought I needed and then this one I put them back uh, the rocket fuel has been largely offline for a while and, and the, sort of the third build or whatever ticks on and off occasionally but now the rocket fuel is going fine and is our main bottleneck which I guess means that we've gone from yeah 264 up to 477 is is the rate at which we're making rocket parts now, which is kind of fine. And then the LDS is also, yeah, this is, this up here is my maximum LDS manufacturing capacity if my buffers are all full and, and well, if the buffer, if there's space in all the buffers and all the builds are running, uh, but builds have been kind of turned off the LDS because I haven't been using it. But now everything is just, yeah, we are making rockets at maximum capacity, uh, which is cool. And then I needed to get these buffer chests. 
and drop them just like, I don't know, here or something. Uh, I only need one. And I reckon we just request, you know, let's just request 600 rail lines and a stack of each of these guys, and that's probably fine. Um, what are bots complaining about? Oh, they're actually complaining about not having signals, and I don't have signals. Okay, never mind. Um, and they're also probably complaining about not having... Probably complaining about not having... Yeah, lots of things are missing jobs. That's fine. Um, because yeah, we've got some a bunch of stuff to build over here, but the thing I noticed... Yeah, we're going to go back... Um, yeah, we're kind of going all over the place today. It's not great. Um, why? Oh, because... Yeah, okay, because the rest of the rail grid isn't built yet. They can't actually do... They can't actually just drive to places yet. Um, that's fine. Yeah, so our rocket production has gone up a lot, which is nice. If we drift all the way back here, then we should be able to get to places we want. Yeah, good. Because uh, we've got to go for reasons to this bit of power grid, because I noticed a thing. Um, so, so I think that's what I want to say about that. We're now making a lot more rocket parts, and well, like we need to boost the rocket fuel. We need to get the rocket fuel up as well, but we also need to boost the LDS, because this LDS not just has to has to not just do rockets, but also do yellow science. So, so yeah, so we're going to go boost those things. That's going to be fine. Um, yeah, the the next thing that I realized is, I think we'll, yeah, well, let's talk about the science thing as we're kind of heading in towards this new build. Yeah, so we've got the exotic science to do. Once we get this Coverex thing, um, this is the reason why I am caching the the, the structured matter from from the exotic science is that somewhere down here yeah these these modules which we already have need combined matter to be able to make the modules and then also this this coverick system needs structured matter to kick off the coverick system so i need to have so it's not just getting the science done it's that i actually need to have some buffer of structured matter to be able to kick off that Coverix process to make it do stuff. So that's that's also why next to the buffer chests we attempted to cache a bit of structured exotic matter. Um, but the other thing that I discovered that was a little bit more of an issue is that these, these item fluid handling facilities don't actually vent this stuff. And I think it was in the other power grid that, like, somewhere over... Is it this one down here? Yeah, I discovered these things. These things weren't actually venting the products that I wanted them to vent, and so as a result, we've now got a bit more storage in here, which is fine. Um, I guess I could pull these back to. I mean, I could put the stuff back on a train, or I could put the proteome on a train and do the old thing that I was doing. I don't really like any of those things. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Which is the tritium is the less common one, isn't it? So if I just do a thing like we do, that's going to be enough space for 400 tritium, which arrives very slowly. And then I can also do something like this just to keep all those networks. And so now I've got enough for 400 tritium and 25,000 deuterium, which is also a lot of cycles. Don't really know what I'm doing about that yet. I might end up just converting this back to it, because I like the idea of being able to make protein locally, especially when there's basically got a bunch of fish in a source of protein. That's kind of nice. Uh, but not being able to just void these other products means I probably still need to get a train in, which is a shame. Oh yeah, and then, then this other lithium source disappeared because we're just doing it from the star engines. That's fine. Okay, so let's go back to the core, because there's some other things that we need to do. Like, I wonder how much of that structured exotic matter we've got sitting around now. Um, yeah, and then also there were some builds that we did last time. Yeah, so the module build, yeah, this is the last bit of the module build, so we can, the old module build, which is now just all in the main grid, so we can get rid of that. Um, somewhere were some other things that I was also going to look at. Like, is, is this the... 
yeah, this is this this little bit of like the RCU's build used to be here. These are all old station sections from the RCU build, which we don't need anymore. That doesn't need to be here, and you know these uh, tangled into another thing. It's fine. And there's, I'm not getting as much steel here as I like, so I reckon we can probably just some of those. Some of these are still running here. Sure. I reckon we can probably just tack in, and I am back at the core. Um, this, because like this is the exact pattern I want, isn't it? Maybe not the signal because the spacing is different, but something like this. If we put it, uh, why? Oh, because it's on this side. Okay, um, which means it has to go this way. Okay, fine. Let's get, actually go down there and get that thing done. Then, how are you doing? Um, yeah, we need to build up more of that because we need to, yeah, we need to be able to kick those things off when we get the tech. Um, oh yeah, because that was the other thing they noticed about this. Um, we've got, you know, all these guys are pretty happy. We're kind of waiting on the amount of space science we have. Um, but also we've got about 17,000 exotic science, which, so we are kind of running down the exotic science. But I think we've got enough to get through the rest of this exotic Covarex. Um, so that's the other reason why I'm kind of happy just turning turning that build off again. Can we just grab how much of this will fit? Uh, wait, no, not, not that stuff. Just this stuff. Um, because if we do that... Uh, this extra rail is being... I mean, I don't need to be that specific about this at this point, and this stuff will here will never actually be used. Um, but can we now get a, an iron train station in here? I think the answer is going to be yes. Like, the thing is, uh, there's a thing in the way. Okay, sure. Yeah, talking about boosting yellow and purple is all fine, except I don't think I have the resources to do that yet, so cool. Um, can I just... Can we do th that? I reckon we can. I reckon I can just sneak through here before that train kills me, and then... Yeah. Then I think we can just go through here upgrade this one and I think we are now I mean we're just going to ignore the rest of the spaghetti mess for a while uh, but we are prioritizing out of the patch which is fine we are now supporting this with another red belt which is also fine and then hopefully we get more iron down here because the amount of steel, yeah, partly because this does our concrete, um, our concrete, but also because the steel is things we're going to need to be able to do science and stuff like that. Um, I think that's all we're going to do at that moment, though. This is all. This is all still just working fine. So yeah, so that's that's a thing we've done. We can we can walk away from that. Though. That is done. Um, where is, where's destination full? What kind of train are you? Oh, an LDS train. Uh, yeah, those were one of the two things we were going to work on. Uh, but we're not going to work on them quite, well, kind of, not really yet. The other thing we need to do first is, yeah, so I built the rest of... Um, let's, let's go and look at it while we are driving out there. In fact, could I do this from the map? I could probably just do this from the map. Um, so these are, these are, yeah, this is the, the big ceramics thing we looked at last time it'll make ceramics composite it's nice we get a belt of ceramics in which isn't set up yet but we could and then we get a blue belt out of ceramic composite which is also not set up yet but we could but i think the thing i want to do yeah so this is this is one blue belt and this is two blue belts but i think for reasons they've yeah they've got different ceramics inputs but before i want to do that i think i want to actually put this on a larger number of trains. I think I basically want this this train station layout here. Uh, does this actually... it's kind of the wrong place, um, but that's fine because none of these things have actually been... maybe my train is in the way. Let's, let's not leave the train in the way. People might like to use the grid. Um, yeah, I think... I think we just kind of move all of... Actually, let's... 
save some of this stuff by just putting it in different places and the bots won't really mind. And then this all had to go two spaces to the left, didn't it? Uh, which we can line up like so. Uh, because I believe that was where these two train stations wanted to be when we'd lined everything up here. Uh, yeah. So the, the idea of this is we will get... Uh, we will get more trains. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll increase the train capacity by having the same stuff go into two train stations rather than the one train station. Uh, is is the plan there. Uh, are they all going to fit, though, is the question. Um, so this train station will need to go here, and so this one turns up and does that. And then we're going to have another train station here. Uh, we need more fuel as well. Are these guys connecting? They are not connecting. Okay, fine. I should be fine playing in these stations because these guys don't have names yet, so nothing will go wrong there. Um, it would be nice if these guys connected as well. Uh, whatever. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, and then this other thing needs... So now, yeah, with this setup I can have four trains passing into each of these two stations. And then these two stations are going to be train stop limit two, um, have ceramics because we are making... I have ceramic composites, because that's what we're making here. Um, this guy goes here, but we're kind of not making it yet, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I guess all we need to do here is rearrange these train stations to be train limit 1. Um, enable contents for checking ceramics less than thousand let's say and then change this name to one of the train stations that requests ceramics yeah and so is this doing yeah so this this one i mean this is this is kind of not evenly taking out of a train but like the first two carriages are taking care of each lane the second two carriages also a lane um this is all probably fine though because these inserters are set up to lane balance the these assemblers taking the ceramics and then we've also got this other buffer thing here to make sure that this this belt underground is always full so um, as long as we can see as long as we can see the ceramics coming out the other side we should be good like we should end up with yeah that looks like it's a full belt of ceramics which is pretty nice um, yeah, full belt of ceramics. I guess I could have also, I mean, this belt could have gone just into this splitter, but I would rather be able to do this stuff with a larger number of trains for reasons we'll get to at a moment. In fact, I could probably just... That. Please ceramics, um, station request, train limit. Um, this should be something of the right thing. Yeah, did, did this actually turn off? That turned off. Okay, good. So now, yeah, now we can also set up this train station, uh, which we also did. Now we can give it more trains, which I don't have on me, which is also fine. Um, so yeah, so the reason we've got a lot of ceramics is we kind of need them in the main base for stuff. There's a bunch of more stuff we need them for, but there's also, is it, is it this area? Yeah, we've got, we've got this recipe which makes LDS out of copper and aluminium ceramic composite and also fiberglass. And this is, yeah, this is the thing we're going to build towards. It's also why we're going all the way out to the east, because we want a place to do a star engine for this copper. I reckon that's going to be how that works. Um, okay, so, not that vehicle, this vehicle. Let's go here, and then the thing we do need to do now is... I mean, we don't need to do this now, but a thing we can do now is let's go back and look at this station because, yeah, all, all the way back over here is the old ceramic composites that we just kind of, like, they're still going on a train here. We're still, oh, we don't actually have enough. Okay, um, that's, that's 
good timing then. That can just go away. And this train can go over here. And then it will head to one of the other stations and get filled. And that's fine. And then the rest of the station we just don't need. Um, so I reckon we can do the bots active assembler trick to get rid of all of the stuff in in these boxes and then we can just like straight up get rid of all of this stuff because we no longer need it which is pretty exciting um okay so there's some stuff that doesn't have radar coverage um but yeah this is this dirty water i don't need because the thing i was doing with that was lithium and we've now got that in uh, from a star engine um this actually is that true Let's see if we can get in before the bots do it. Because I think all we need to do is just take this circuit condition off. And then we just turn all of this dirty water into landfill. And that's better than deleting it. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah, we'll just take this thing off. And then this guy can go away. Um, this, this combinator here can go away. Because then this train station will... Yeah, then this train station will be available and will empty out this ore, and this ore can go to places that that ore likes to be, and then we can have it disappear. Yeah, so all of this stuff, this this whole old ceramics build, um, can all just go away now. Like, there isn't anything I actually need this for. Now that I've got a better train supply of ceramics elsewhere at the other end of the base. So that's going to save us... You know, we're going to go from a small build, what, from a, from a, yeah, this, I think this was like the very first rail grid build in the base. Uh, but we don't need it anymore. And then this train can also just, yeah, go, go back over there and then get rid of that thing. And then all of this can disappear? Yeah, all of this entire station just doesn't need to be here anymore, which could end up simplifying some of the rail paths over this bit of the base. And um, we're going to leave... We're going to leave this this guy doing its stuff for a while. Um, but yeah, bu builds that can just go away, which is, I think it's nice. Anyway, um, I kind of want to go back to figuring out whether or not... Yeah, figuring out whether or not, seeing whether or not we've got enough exotic materials actually it doesn't matter yet because we're still only on 93 percent of that we can go and do we can go and do the other thing yeah so um other things i was thinking about is over here we've got this train fuel build which is currently kind of stopped because we kind of ran out of steam because we turned off this nuclear power plant and we can we've like deconstruction planned most of the power plant now and all of this can also just go away which is also really nice um, but it means that we are no longer making train fuel and I either need to get some steam over here or instead of that actually I think I want to go over there uh, for for reason so it's not too far we'll just head over here um, the yeah because the thing I realized is like I've got a lot of train fuel here and then all of these boxes have also got a pile of train fuel. And then the other places on the grid also are caching a lot of train fuel. And I do have a lot of these trains. I'm also doing very much a train reduction plan in the sense that, yeah, this, this, here these green chips this is these these are the first trains where any of the material that will be these green chips ends up on a train like normally we might be training copper ore and smelting it somewhere and then training that copper to somewhere that makes the chips but in this setup all of the stuff just comes out of the water we process it right here goes straight on a train so that saves me a bunch of trains this is also like how we're trying to get a mega base out of one four trains because that's also kind of sketchy um so the between the train reduction plan and the fact that we're kind of low on steam here anyway and then also the fact that there's these trains and then and i think these trains take em trains these don't run on diesel and then these these ones also 
being powered by a compact star, this train always has energy. Um, this won't need diesel either. Um, but it does take the fusion cells, which is going to be a bit of an issue. It does take the HLP magnets, which we haven't automated yet. I was thinking about automating these as well today. Don't get distracted. Finish finish the first thing. Um, future trains too. Yeah, I think, I think I've got enough train fuel to attempt to get all the way to these trains before I run out of train fuel. So that's going to be what the plan is. Um, and I think the way I was doing that is... These are currently here. These have got so much train fuel on them. What we're going to do instead is... Can I actually... Uh, is there... There's not even much space in, in these guys. Okay. Um, yeah. Because the idea was I could... In fact, let's just do this this other way. Yeah. Well, we're gonna yeah we're gonna attempt to rebalance. In fact, it doesn't need to be there. It needs to be like here or something. Um, that's all a nasty hack, but fine. Yeah, we wanna. If I like, I've already set up most of the places where train fuel is happening. So rather than that, I would yeah rather than returning entire stacks of train fuel at once. We are going to have less on the train, so it's more of a top-up. Um, and this will allow it to, like, kind of better balance over the different stations that are all requesting train fuel, because none of them are requesting train fuel in bulk now, because they all... the like, vast trains of fuel are a thing we need when oh actually not yet um yeah vast trains are a thing vast trains of fuel are things we need when we're setting up new bits of grid but to keep grid supplied i think a smaller train with less fuel on it is going to be fine but then the thing that struck me is if i'm not making train fuel and i'm still struggling for beacon capacity i'm going to take all these beacons back um like i don't know that i'm going to be making train fuel here at all i'm not going to delete this build in case we do um but all of these things that are beacons that are counting towards my beacon limit um, kind of don't have to. And that's all of them. Yeah, they, those were those were the cracking beacons. Yeah, because we are currently still struggling for beacon capacity and getting more beacons out. I'm going to be going to be doing good stuff. Um, yeah, we're up to a decent number of these things, aren't we? OK, fine. Uh, wait, what was the other what were the other things I needed? Yeah, let's talk about why those numbers are what they are. Um, the, these, not there. Not there either, over here. Um, yeah, this entire tab of stuff that I've not looked at yet. What, what even goes into these things? Fiberglass, carbon fiber. Okay, that's all pretty fine. We can do that. Um, yeah, these modules. I need module cores. I need Stokes modules, and I need combined matter. I think I want to start with... I need, Yeah, I kind of need to start with four of these modules, um, because the Coverex process happens in a centrifuge, and I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need some number of these which will flip down matter into up, and then I also need to be able to flip the up matter back to the down and have that go around in a loop, which is two centrifuges, which is four modules, and I was just looking at... Yeah, so we're going to need like five module cores and then like 30 to set all these requests up because they're just in the network somewhere. Yeah, just need like five of these and then these Stokes three modules we're going to need. I think I said about 30, I think 24 is the number, but something like that. Um, but then also some amount of LDS, which I didn't actually remember to look at, I, is, might be eight. Um, because this needs the structured matter, and the structured matter needs, oh, 10, okay. How much structured matter do I need? Combined matter, that is. Okay, if I'm making four of these modules, I need 16 hits of combined matter. So that's 160 LDS, 16 deep space data cards, 32 structured exotic matter. Yeah, I think that's why I went for about 30 of each kind of matter because that gets me almost enough to make all the modules I need, and then I can use the 30 of the the down kind um, to kick off the Coverex process. So let's go and do that. This doesn't want to be 8, this wants to be 160. And then uh, this matter we've already got here, so that's fine. Was there? Oh yeah, data cards. 
Um, they should be in the fusion stage. Yeah, we're going to need 16 of these things. Actually, yeah. So this will hopefully... Yeah, we can um, get around to building all of those modules eventually. But we also just need to get more of that stuff in, which is... It's fine. It's still running. We've got we've got all the things. Rockets are launching. That's all kind of nice. Science is happening, and yeah. Okay, so all of that is more or less buffering. Um, what was the? Oh yeah. So oh yeah, let's get more trains as well. We will need more trains for the next. But I've got a couple of these. I've got the one I'm driving as well. Okay, so if I just get some of those. Um, in fact, let's just set these up now. I guess. Uh, one there and one here should give me, I mean, it should also block both the lanes so I don't get hit by anything. Uh, that's connected, that's connected, okay, fine. Um, and then we want, okay, I don't actually have any fuel on me, but this chest also has fuel. So let's give you guys a bunch of fuel, and then somewhere over here... Uh, okay, that, yeah, there's just the same bots waiting, because they've only got, they don't have very many bots. Um, where is this train? Oh, this train is, yeah, that train's going to be annoying to find, isn't it? Uh, yeah, maybe it's, I mean, there's only a couple of places it can be going. We're going to set this one up again, it's fine. Um, from having ceramics and 30, yeah... We've got train fuel there, so we'll give it five seconds to, to also just fill. And then requesting composites. Yeah, that's what we want. And so now we can have three trains that are moving composites around the place. Um, we can have four trains. I think we're eventually going to four trains. Um, but the thing we want to do is... Do I have all the things I need for this? Yeah, so I have... A, yeah, so this is this is like the, the the block of composite blueprint that we've got. We've got quite a few blueprints floating around that we, we're now going to wander around to play with. Yeah, I had this one that I was looking at the other day of too much fiberglass, and then somewhere there's a, else there's a fiberglass recipe for which we need a lot of beacons, a lot of speed modules, and a lot of those quarry stone drill thing. So let's go and like request all of those. I think this was 16. And then we also needed a bunch of crushes, but I forget how many. We probably need another bunch of these, but I forget how many as well. And oh, and also fiber makers. Crushes and fiber makers. And I think everything else is more gonna, like the, the, the grid we build this in is going to have enough of it. Um... Nuclear waste storage, fiber makers, yeah, sure. And then also, are these, one, these ones are crushers. Um, I think I needed more of one than the other, but I forget which way around. Okay. Um, yeah, I forget which way around. So we're going to take these and then we're going to... We are going to... Yeah, that's going to be enough for a while. Okay. Um, because we want to... I guess we turn our bots back on. We're going to wander all the way out here and talk about why we're putting all of this rail grid down. Uh, and also, apparently, we've finished that build. Probably the the buffer chest helped a bit, but we've got a bunch of ghosts of... Go over here and then, like, do a little loop and just, like, nice Spidertron validating that all our build is complete. But, like, bots aren't complaining about that stuff, so it definitely is. Um, so, yeah, so plans. Um, we've got somewhere, yeah, this this fission stage, um, we're going to star engine for copper. We've got a lot of aluminium ceramic composite at the other end of the base. The fiberglass we can build anywhere because it's literally just stone. So we've, we've yeah, we've built all of all of this grid all the way out here to get to more water so we can drop another star engine for copper. Um, somewhere, yeah, we need to get, grab we need to grab this as well because we've got to do rocket fuel things. Um, we need and then that's also why all of this all of these RCUs are kind of leaning out in this general westward direction because then I can do 
all of the science builds, the, the purple and yellow, which we still haven't actually got around to planning, never mind, can go over here somewhere. And the, f the LDS can also go over here. In fact, there is, there's a bunch of copper that, uh, now we're just going to start engine, it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, a bunch of this stuff around the place. Um, these other spider drones are also just hanging around doing whatever, it's fine. Um, so we need to figure out where... Where are we going to put the fiberglass? Now, I reckon we can actually probably put the fiberglass. Let's put the fiberglass... Um, I reckon, like, in here somewhere, because I don't know how much space I'm going to need, because the larger builds, I also need to break things off the grid, which takes up space because there are certain... Yeah, there are certain rubber ports that need to stay or not. But before we do that, let's do... This is the one that's three blue belts, and I don't reckon I need three blue belts. But this one is... Oh, actually, I need to actually clip off some of these signals for reasons. Um, this signal here needs to go, and this signal here needs to go. Uh, and then we drop in this blueprint. Responsible amount of fiberglass, which is two blue belts of fiberglass and yeah bots so this is this is all in the rail grid in fact this one is not a bot space build this is all a belt space build uh, and as a result we can just have this in the same grid and also these these chests that are all requesting the drills for the stone um, they're all pretty much the same. Yeah, they, they're all in the same grid. We've already got that stuff being delivered. That's fine. And yeah, this is kind of a similar setup to the ceramic setup. Um, I should have, probably should have also brought trains for this. Oh, well, never mind. Um, we've, got, we've got these drills. They're going into crushers. All this stuff is kind of ratioed. These go into arc furnaces because this recipe is slightly different to the aluminium one. Uh, we get... We get, in total, um, two belts of glass out of these guys. Um, I don't think this... Uh, why? Why are you... Ah, yeah, I think... I think I could have Stokes moduled this, but I ended up just not needing to or something. And I think if I moduled... I think it was something like, if I moduled these, then... The stuff I needed to do to beacon these to get these up to belt speed was a pain. And it was just easier in this case to not module these casters. And also, I kind of don't care because all of this is just free stone anyway. Uh, put all of these guys down. That's fine. And then over here, we are... Yeah, the other build... This other build of too much fiberglass um, used... You can kind of see it. Um, tier 3 beacons in the middle of all the crushing stuff. And this one doesn't use the tier 3 beacons, it just uses normal beacons, um, because I got kind of a shortage of tier 3 beacons and there's other tier 3 beacons stuff we want to be doing. Um, so we've got a lot of crushers all kind of lined up. Um, this is a direct feed thing again. Um, interesting to note, these two belts are designed to be full. These two belts here are fully processed by all of this with the beacons once they get all that stuff. And then over here, we don't even bother mixing onto this train. Um, because by hypothesis these two belts are full so we've got we've got like this in place build that just puts stuff on a train and um, we've got somewhere yeah i've got enough i've got enough space here for two trains i can have another train here and i don't think i'm going to need that many i hope um but yeah a a grid build of are these guys all complaining about not having stuff now they're just all busy fine um a grid build of two belts of stuff going into two belts of stuff going into four wagons that uses a total of two splitters like these are the only two splitters in the blueprint so that's pretty funny i like that um we're just going to let that go and and have the bots do a thing because now i want to go back to the base because the coverix process finished um which i mean our bots complain about not having things they complain about not having beacons and the other crushes of which i have some of those but not really um do we have is this train is this train over here it is um yeah this train can come just meet me in the build and i will give it the stuff that grid needs and then we can send it back and that's fine um because also now that we've finished 
that Coverex tech, I reckon we can just kick off that Coverex process. Uh, because it's going to be a pain, it's going to take ages, the recipe is slow, we need to beacon it pretty hard anyway. And yeah, I think are these other... I think we've done most of the things that I need to do today. Um, kind of. I mean, there's still a pile of other stuff that I need to do. Um, actually, I want, did want to check on... I wanted to check on the gold. Uh, that's not the gold. This here is the gold. And it's fine again. Okay, because the thing I was worried about is how much of the blue chips, now that we boosted the blue chips and we boosted the RCUs, how much of the gold was struggling and then also how much of the rich water was struggling because we have massively boosted our gold intake. And that's kind of fine because I did have... I did have another blueprint that I came up with which does rich water in a much more beaconed way which is going to get me a lot of stuff out but also needs solution containers and that's not really figured out yet um i had yeah i had kind of a rocket fuel build and i had kind of an lds build this lds build is mad um this we might actually go and figure out where this is going to go and, and do that after we set up this coverix thing um where oh wait we're not even anywhere yet um because you are trying to get to you are trying to get to who's taking that intersection Where is this? Okay, um, do I have... I don't even have a signal. Oh, no, I do have a signal in my hat. Where... Ah, this one is all chained so that I don't block the stuff in here and it couldn't get through the rest of this intersection. Okay. Um, that's still... That's still not great, but whatever. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, do we have... 17. 17 is enough. Okay, this... These ones we can go back to requesting in... It's not there, it's over here. Uh, 16 of these because we will need more and yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a thing this has actually worked out kind of well um, I don't need any of this stuff and then I need all of this stuff and we can make I'm just gonna handcraft these because why not where are they are they in f they're not in this stage oh they're in this stage yeah two of these modules yeah, that was all pretty expensive. Um, the LDS can go back and hear these things. And yeah, then... Where, though, is the question? I reckon we're going to go down here. It's kind of high value. We kind of bought this stuff in the middle for no particular reason. Um, I need a centrifuge, so you just bring me a centrifuge. I'm actually going to need two centrifuges. And then I'm going to need some speed beacons, but of the... Yeah, of this this kind of beacon, kind of. Is that going to be where I want to do this? Um, I kind of want. Yeah, I kind of these definitely all want the speed beacons. Um, and then how many beacons can we pack around this thing? Um, yeah, we want to go back one square, don't we? we want to go there and there, and here and here, and then. Because, yeah, because because all of the modules we crafted used up all the up matter, we can actually kick this process off with the structured, yeah, the up matter recipe that uses the down. Um, and so we want to give it all of this, we want to give it this module, and we want to do a box thing. We want to do that. And then, okay, I don't have these inserters on me. Um, yeah, we are just going to have... We're just going to have all of these things just run. Uh, there will work, yeah. We don't actually have all the speed modules at the moment, never mind. Um, I should be I should be making all of these. Module upgrades happening? Yeah, it's just module upgrades not happening. Not yet, anyway. Um, okay, we are going to speed module these with twos, and we're going to upgrade these plan... Okay, we're going to upgrade plan these later. Um, yeah, so this is... Where is this one? Yeah, so we started off with actually not quite enough. Like, I think we started off with about 17, didn't we? And I, I, we need we need 19 to properly start this process, but also I need the others to go in here. Because if we have 
18. So if we if we start with 20 of each type, then this process will slowly spin down like the first yeah the first nine of or ten of these into the other type and then the other process kicks off and then we're kind of swapping them backwards and forwards with our productivity bonuses oh yeah i did also want to do we're not we're not actually happy with the speed ones and speed twos that are in here we do want the speed threes everywhere uh it's just more important that we spin all of these get whatever speed is on these first because this recipe is super slow but yeah if we have only 19 bits of matter, well no, if we have only 18 bits of matter, that's not quite enough to start this process because we'll end up with 9 of each type and then neither process can run. But once we have the 19th piece of matter, then we will have enough to keep this going around in a circle because it will always have 10 of one or 10 of the other. And also nine cycles with because i think this has productivity 10 percent yet yeah, nine cycles is not enough to get a free one out um we need we need more than that but this one will this one's going to run for like another yeah i don't i think i started with 17 of one and like four of the other so that's not really enough do we have where is this box we've got enough for one more module so we're going to do is that is that true no we need eight for one more module don't i but i've already got the other i gave it to them but yeah, I think we're going to run back down here and use some of this up matter to be able to create the other two modules we want. Uh, I'd need the LDS. And yeah, by the time we have that stuff running around in a circle, we will at least have... Yeah, these these no longer want to be that many. I like only want like four or five now. Just go five. Yep. Yeah. Once we've got this stuff running around in a circle, um, I think we're going to come back. Yeah, we've got enough for one structure matter, but not quite enough of... Yeah, I think we still just grab the rest of the stuff from over here. Is this going to be... This is one short. Okay. And then you can have all of this. And we are going to be close to a place of being able to kick off this process and just have it take ages um, because I mean speed speed 4.5 is great but this one of these processes is still then taking like 25 seconds and then we need to do that process 10 cycles to get out one free one so this is this is this is not what we need to start with um, this is just the thing that will get this process online to start with. like well, well yes i think as soon as i get another 20 of these in fact i might even grab some more from over here because the sooner i can get to two of those two of these these little things and then eventually we're going to have a big field of this stuff we're going to do this super hard uh, because this is just power grid and i've got a ton of power grid i have a ton of power grid i have a ton of power grid um so we're just going to blast that super hard and not really worry about it um yeah that's going to be no i need to put this other module in and then I also needed to give this guy beacons. I think I have... Do one of these chests have beacons? One of these chests have beacons. And then what else were they complaining about? They were complaining about our speed three modules. They're going to get that because the basic build has them. And then also... Crushers or fiber makers? I can't quite tell. Uh, probably could have... Oh, did I actually drop a radar over there? I kind of left a radar over there. I didn't leave a radar over the things that would have actually been useful okay um yeah let's get get that other thing running um you still don't have any exotic ma exotic matter for me um cool just run over the train tracks nothing bad ever happened um you want this one so so yeah so this is this is going to fail because we just need to give it more structured matter like there's there's the 10 in here. It's got two more cycles. Um, that's not going to yet. Now it's got one more cycle. Then it will do one more and we'll get not enough to kick this process off. So we actually need to give that a little more. In fact, what we're going to do is over here, do these guys, yeah, these guys have stuff. Um, in fact, give me this and give me this because that will be enough 
to make sure that this loop is now completely running on both sides. Yeah, so these guys are both running. Um, it might take a while to shuffle this through in between, but we now have a source of exotic matter that doesn't mean we need to launch rockets, which is cool. Okay, um, I also wanted to figure out which of, like, in that glass build... Where I would be, yeah, glass. Um, molten glass was something I needed to look at. Crushed glass is. Crushed glass is. Two in one second. Okay, fine. And then it's going to be the fiber makers, isn't it? Fiber makers are. One per second. Crushed glass are two per second. Yeah, so it's the fiber makers that I need another. 13 or oh, 5. Is that 75 beacons? Wow, okay. Um, lots of beacons. Fiber makers. Crushing factories are not what we need. We need fiber makers. These ones. Um, another 20. Is 20 gonna. Yeah, 20 is gonna be fine. Um, yep. Yeah. So. Give. That's not even the 70 it needs. Um. All the fiber makers, you're going to take more speed three modules out? Yeah, you've got another 50 speed three modules. Um, we're actually going to need a lot more than that, uh, which we also don't have. Uh, but we also don't really need... Yeah, having having just said, oh, hey, um, we do this, this build is going to be fine. Um, we don't need to... Yeah, we now need... Where do I have speed twos? You have you have speed twos. Um, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, now that we have yeah, that the the lack of splitters in the fiberglass means that yes, when the build is fully running, I don't need to worry about balancing them. Maybe I need to balance, worry about balancing them now. Um, I also don't have... Yeah, let's go and drop down this LDS build. Actually, do I even have the things I need to do the LDS build? Uh, I think the answer to that is no, because the other thing I'm going to need are... Oh yeah, I don't need these anymore. Um, nuclear assemblers. Yeah. I think it's only like 12 of these or something silly, isn't it? It's really... It's a very strange LDS build. Um, but it goes super hard. Yeah, okay, so slightly more than that, like 24, it's fine. Um, we won't, I, that happened to be 24, sure. Um, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go and drop this down. We've done the fiberglass thing, um, even further than that. Uh, let's drop a radar here first. And then, yep, and then we're gonna come over here. And I think I do the L yeah, do I do the LDS build here? I think I do. I should have taken Star Engine stuff. Because um, we want to do... Is it going to be literally this pattern? I think it is going to be this pattern again, because we're just going to get a Star Engine for Copper. Which means we're going to do... Uh, could you just wander over here for a bit, please? Something like this, like here? I know you don't have that stuff, it's fine. But then we want to be able to do this blueprint with all the landfill, and mostly I just need to make sure that it's in a place that all the offshore pumps. Yeah, I think I think this little this little blotch of water here is gonna be a pain. Um, because without that, where did it go with this one? Um without that, I could drop Yeah, I'm not seeing a place where I can get all of the offshore pumps on water. And all of the offshore pumps need to be on water. That's kind of how that works. Um, but yeah, generally, generally we're going to go... Star Engine for Copper. Star Engine here. Uh, this is going to be kind of in the way. In fact, maybe if we moved... I mean, we could also just landfill all of this and put the Star Engine bit over here. That would also be a thing that would work fine. Um, things I wanted to do were put a radar, I guess, like, I can probably be a little further, a little more central, can't I? 
Okay, so red idea completely covers the thing. Um, we need, we need, yeah, all of these things need to be speed modulated more. These belts should be full, they're not. Is everything else, yeah, it's just everything not beaconed. Uh, because we're waiting on speed modules. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I guess that's the downside of, yeah, the base is geared to make a lot of, uh, to not make a, all that many speed modules because I was using the mod beacons. Um, now that I'm using vanilla beacons for these things I don't plan on upgrading again, I kind of need a lot of speed modules. And... Uh, would help if the blueprint had all of that belt around the right way. So, I mean, I think these will probably fill up before I end up needing to use them anyway. Uh, but, let's talk about this quite insane LDS build, which is... Where's the LDS build? Here it is. Um, yeah, let's get rid of... I had, I had a different tool that was not bots for getting rid of these trees. Um, yeah, this LDS thing, I think we're going to, there's going to be another of these things where we slap down and then talk about the design constraints and then I do this in between and then I've also got another one for rocket fuel um, and then there's the, like, the rich powder one, there's this other rocket fuel one which because we're using these assemblers it needs to be the same size as the RCUs but this one is not because the base speed of all of these nuclear assembling machines 3.5 and then by the time we beacon all of these things um, I think I figured out that this this tiny build here is actually all of the LDS I need for my entire base because these beacons go hard these assemblers go hard in fact I'm not going to need that many to start actually I should take the outside ones out and have these ones in it's going to be strictly better um, here is where they need to go to hit the largest number of assemblers. Um, yeah, so we've we've got double copper request chests into double stack inserters into LDS, and versions of this thing I was looking at with different kinds of beaconings, the copper insertion from double stack inserter into LDS was the bottleneck, obscene. And then also, this recipe itself is much more copper efficient, and also gives me four LDS at once. So, so yeah, I think we need to... I think we're going to pause. I think we're going to suspend this episode here. Um, we've got we've got a star engine to build. I've got to figure out how to get this thing in here. I've got to figure out... Yeah, I've just, just got to get this built and then plumb some things in. But the plan is going to be, I think, even, even maybe silos over here. Actually, let's talk about the other blueprint that I might end up dropping in between as well. Whereas if there's a Petrochem one, like there's a rocket fuel one, and then yeah, here's, here's this other blueprint that I think I like, I'm not sure yet, that has, yeah, a lot of beacons. These buildings were too large to really, and then these ones, the cracking and the solid fuel were a little too awkward. awkward. Um, but yeah, I've got this blueprint which has a lot of beacons in it, which does oil processing to get kerosene, which in in place cracks all of the heavy oil to light oil. Um, some of the stuff gets processed into solid fuel immediately. Um, it has this nice kind of tiling pattern. I think I can get four of these per... Yeah, and I need to get water in here as well. And then this entire thing is ratioed over this boiler. Um, so this boiler and then this guy is beaconed up to the speed where it will fully use all the steam from one boiler. Then we have enough of these things to be able to fully power, yeah, fully power this thing using the coal recipe. And then, I mean, it feels pretty bad using the gas and the kerosene from to be making to be making solid fuel. I'm not sure if that's a thing I really want to be doing, but the thing that I also did think about, which I might also just patch in in between, is down here somewhere. Yeah, so all of all of bots are going to be pretty unhappy about that for a while because they don't have any of the things they need, but whatever. I'm not even sure that's going to stay that that'll be like that at some point when we end up getting to the end of this, this, yeah, when we start the next episode. Um, but the thing that struck me about the red chips build, 
Are those guys also... Oh, they're all still all complaining about beacons, aren't they? They're all complaining about tier 3 beacons. Yeah. Um, where is this train? This train can go back to this base, because that's where I'm making the beacons. Um, yeah, the thing that struck me about this spot over here, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is making way more gas than I need. And this was never really part of the plan of this build. But I realized that if I took out this thing and hacked in a tank here, I could have a pipe or a pump here and not get in the way of where these other beacons want to be to boost as much as they possibly can. And then wire this pump to this tank and pump out a surplus of light oil that I didn't need for the re yeah a bunch of these things things aren't even running I can definitely get some more light oil out of this um, and also I mean the red chips aren't fully beaconed yet but they're kind of close to being fully beaconed and then also this petrochem nowhere near fully beaconed so I reckon this has headroom to pull out a lot more light oil and I think once we do that we're going to have kind of a train supply of light oil here that we can also take this way and then I think we're going to have yeah LDS maybe maybe rocket fuel here maybe rocket fuel one over uh, there's a lot of trees and I don't really want to deal with that um but basically be making have move this move at least the space science silos all the way out here because that's a lot of stuff that's quite efficient to move back to the main grid on a train and then this is also like doing all the LDS over here with these guys that need the ceramics is also why I wanted more ceramics trains because the ceramics now have to go like the the trains making the ceramics are leaving from this station here and going right the way to the other side of the base so more trains able to do that like more trains on that route sounds good to me um so let's also last thing to do before I've just got like a bunch more stuff to plan is look at how this Coverex thing is going and eight four yeah I, I I'm not even in a position to be able to throw a second pair of these down yet even even with the other exotic I mean I guess I could I guess over here I could grab more exotic science from these things to help spin up the second one um, but it's still, yeah, it's still, still we just need the rocket parts, we're kind of working on the rocket parts, okay, so we're currently simultaneously launching two of the rockets that we will use to turn, yeah, though that's going to be another 20 of each kind, which some of it we're going to turn into science, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a thing we work on more later, uh, we've kind of got a lot of builds in parallel to do, because we want to do we want to do purple and yellow science, we want to do space science, we just need a lot more of all of those things at once. And that means we've got a lot of things to build. Um, is, the, 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 is this fiberglass at least looking pretty happy now? Um, the answer to that is mostly no, because we still just need a bunch of beacons. But it's kind of... oh, it's, um, it's another place where... Uh, and then also this lane balancing is also not working, so that's cool. Um, so we need to go and address that. Yeah, so that should that should land lane balance those better. Sorting this out. Oh, it's all of it. Jeez, is this even the blueprint I wanted? So many issues with this thing just like not being okay at all, and it needs. It needs a couple more beacons, but we'll just straighten that stuff out. And then this is getting, yeah, this is getting about halfway down. We're getting about half a belt out. It's a little bit of a mess. We want that fully compressed. We'll do that in a bit. Um, this is actually, yeah, we can even do this better this way, can't we? If we did that like so. And then there's going to be some glass in storage, which I'll have to figure out something to do with. But that's fine. That will, yeah, that'll be that'll be a better way of doing that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, lots lots of things. Uh, we got a bunch of builds to do. We got a bunch of blueprint work. We got a bunch of ratio stuff. Yeah, lots of lots of stuff.